thanks very much, and it's a great pleasure for me to be here with all of you, and I, I, I really thank you very much for, for being here with us. And thank you, thank you very much for uh, bringing us here and getting us an opportunity to see the operation here more, more closely and to uh, understand, for example, all the progress that we've made, including the 50% increase in employment here over the course of the last year or so. Obviously, very, very good and very, very important. Elna Magnetics is a very important place here in uh, the Hudson Valley, and it's going to continue to be and it's going to continue to expand because of all the positive things that it's doing for a whole host of things, including the military operation in uh, our country. I also want to express my deep appreciation to Senator Gillibrand. She is a great person. We are very fortunate here in New York to have somebody with as much insight, as much intelligence, as much energy and determination to do the right kinds of things. And the main focus of her attention right now, well, maybe one of the main focuses of her attention right now, is on job creation. And job creation is one of the most important things that we need to do. We have 8.2% uh, unemployment here in New York, which is a lot better than it is uh, in other, well, not a lot better, but a little bit better at least than it is in other places across the, across the country. And a lot of other places are much higher than that, but the average of 9.2% has, has us a little bit lower. In any case, we uh, started to turn things around in the last few years, having created 250,000 manufacturing jobs since December of 2009. All of that is important. I'm talking about that nationally now. It's a good start, but not nearly good enough. A lot more has to be done. That's why I strongly support the agenda that Senator Gillibrand has put forward today. Her plan, which I have co-sponsored in the House, would help bring new manufacturing jobs to our part of New York. And it would be a big boost to many of the solar energy companies here in Ulster County. Bringing manufacturing jobs back to our region is something that I have been focused on for many years. 2007, of course, we set up the, the Solar Energy Consortium, and we have uh, set up a number of jobs in that operation right now, too. As a result, more than 15 solar businesses now call the Hudson Valley home. They range from solar manufacturers to installers to tooling companies, and together they have created over 500 new jobs in this region. As with any new industry, we have had our ups and downs, but I'm very optimistic about this industry's future, and I'm going to do everything I can to ensure that New York continues to grow and maintain its position as a national leader in manufacturing. And that's why I've worked to strengthen the Buy America Act to ensure that our tax dollars are spent to create jobs here at home instead of overseas. When the future government wants to uh, purchase anything, say for example, an airplane, current law requires that only 50% of the components of that airplane need to be made here in America. That's way too low. I've introduced the Buy America Enhancement Act to increase the requirements so that at least 75% of the components are made here in America rather than outside of this country. It's a basic principle. Your tax dollars should not be spent to create jobs in Shanghai when they can be spent here to create jobs in Saugerties and elsewhere in the Hudson Valley. As we return to Washington, which is going to be pretty soon, a couple of weeks, I will be focusing on the most important issue, facing our economy jobs. And I look forward to working with this wonderful Senate representative that we have, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, to ensure that the words made in America are not the words of a bygone era. They are the words of now and the future. Kirsten, thank you very much.